Oh, okay. I read something for you. Now the gecko told me this. That was on 24th of June. And 25th of June, what do we have here? Thursday, June, huh? 25th. That was yesterday, right? Yesterday, yes. Yesterday. Oh, okay. I have written here. Sometimes I forgot what day it is. And this is come from the ultimate master. Because I was kind of sad. I'm thinking I'm helping the world, but they don't even know it, for example. And it's not fast enough for me, yeah? Yes. I was thinking, what else can I do? I was sad and I thought, oh, I I don't know. If I want to continue talking to deaf ears, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I understand, yes. And the people are suffering like that, and I feel frustrated, even though it helps. But I want it completely and quick. So I blame myself. Maybe I didn't do good enough. So the ultimate master told me in a message. I had three messages yesterday. The message number one I wrote here, you are love, loved one. That's what he said. Cheers, master. And I say thank you, glorious master. Love you too. <laughs> yeah. So number two, my protector told me, do not forgive such and such and such. He is disrespectful and other etc etc action inside, yeah. Yes, yes master. master. Even I did not see it. So I say, but uh, then he's still bugging me. You know, I was still thinking of him whether or not he'd be okay, whether or not uh, it should have happened like that for him. And uh, the uh, he asked the protector say, oh, in three days you will not be bothered anymore because you'll be far away and then you have things to do and he won't bother you, okay? Yes, my yes, sister. Only in the mind. Yes. yes, yes because I never hate anybody. I understand, yes, master. Even if you haven't told me that he did this and that and disrespectful, I never hate anybody. I feel sorry. I thought such a person, I should teach him more instead, you know, but heaven say, no, no, he needs to go. It's better for you. I understand, yes, Master. Anyway, nobody nearby, just living nearby only, not with me. Just like you guys, yeah, like one of you, just nearby. Don't see me <laughs> and don't see him. But then something he did, uh, heaven, not pardon at the moment. Yes, Master. Uh, kind of astral stuff, never mind. I don't want to tell further. Of course, I thank the God also. Oh, I forgot to thank them here, but never mind, because it's such a negative thing they told me. So I forget to thank. And number three, who is this telling me? Be happy. Uh, demons are all gone. These are from heaven, yeah? From my protector, not from Gekku again, no. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody come and tell me. Even Gekku is a talk now. Wow. I never heard them talking before. That's amazing news. Yeah, I just came next to the door and wait for me to come out and told me this thing. And the spider creep inside my house and tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> and the Oscar told me this message. That's because wonderful. I was thinking how come the world is not better yet. I mean, not the way I want, yeah? Not like completely better, yeah? Not like heaven and peace for everybody, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Still, it's very chaotic at the moment. You see, not the pandemic only, but the animals die in hundreds of thousands because they cannot sell. They kill them, hundreds of thousands. Pigs or cows or chickens, mings. And then uh, the whole world is uh, in deficit, yeah? Because of the pandemic, people don't work, they're less productive, but the more payments. Yes, yes, yes. Even I heard American uh, debt is uh, like some 30 trillion, something like that. Some trillions, anyway. Yes, Master. Then there is Ebola, but it's probably better now. Uh, the salmonella in chicken, etc., etc. And the season flu is still not uh, disappear ever, yeah? visit us again and again, and it's also sometimes deadly, yeah? or very uncomfortable, and very damaging to the body. Yes, no. yes Master. And because if you take antibiotic, it's also not good for the body. And then even those uh, sickness before, like SARS and MERS and s stuff like that, they're still in the corner somewhere. Hmm? 
Maybe they don't spread so quickly like uh, COVID-19, but they are still spreading. Yes. 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 It's just because the COVID-19 now cover everything. Many cancer patients are neglected. People complain in the newspaper they print them. And the tuberculosis are neglected. And malaria, or people with uh, other kind of uh, chronic disease or dangerous disease, uh, many are neglected because of uh, the COVID-19 situation. Yes, 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 Yeah, lockdown and hospital is full and the pandemic is new and more urgent. So many patients are not really cared for and die. Yes, master. yes master. Especially elderly. So it's not only the pandemic that kills people. There are other things as well. Other old epidemic pandemics are also still ongoing. And now we have even flood, torrential rains and landslides, many places. And the locust disaster in many places, be declines. Also droughts everywhere, and farmers helpless. No one can help them. This is worrisome for our world. Some people worry that due to all this, we will have food shortage. We already have anyway. I hope everybody wake up quick, quick, quick. Be vegan to use this compassionate, benevolent, sustaining energy in order to save our people, our world. And even mental stress. Even some doctors kill themselves because of the situation and maybe the virus attacked their brain so they cannot even think straight. That's what it was. Um. Otherwise, I saw one doctor, so beautiful, American, just kill herself like that. And many more. And many doctors and hospital personnel and nurses die because of infection. Because in the beginning, Nobody prepare for this, so they don't have enough equipment for protection, so they just die like that. Imagine these heroic people. And then uh, in England, like doctors and nurses already retired, they came back out again. Yes, yes. Yes. Just to help out because they are needed, and the hospital called them, and they came back and sacrificed, and they die, many oh, of them. No. Just like that, imagine. It's terrible. Man. Yeah, terrible. How would you feel if it's, you are their family members? Yes, yeah, so bad. Yeah, normally they work hard all their life already, yeah? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. And then now they enjoy a little bit of leftover of their time on earth. They have to sacrifice and die just like that. I feel it's not fair. No, it's not. Just for that piece of meat, how hard is it to just put it down? And replace it with another kind of protein, tasty, good. It's not like, it's not tasty, yeah? Yes, yeah. Master. You eat a vegan protein every day, do you feel anything bad? No, no, master. Master. It's really no good. huh? Yeah, it's good, master. What do you feel when you eat? We enjoy it very much. Enjoy, yeah? Delicious, right? Enjoy it, yes, yeah. Master. Yeah, I know that. I know they're good because before we opened like a loving hut or loving food company, years ago, they make me eat so many things just to taste. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Oh my God. And, <laughs> Some are lousy, some are good, but I had to eat a lot until I don't want no more. I said, oh, please take it away. Please, you eat it. <laughs> you know better. You eat every day. You should know better. You taste it. Many people taste together better than just me, one person, yeah? So if all of you, many of you, okay, then the food is okay, then we can produce them. I became like guinea pig. I had to make experiments of food on me. <laughs> Even during retreat, I had to taste these things. In Thailand retreat, they bring a lot and I have to eat them, good or not. But then later, it's all good, tastes good, tastes good. The one tastes good, I say we produce. I also ate them. Yes, yes, yes. I think I run out of stuff now. So the spiders say the same, be happy, zealous demons are all gone. So I say thanks. Uh, here, what I said, no message today, look too hard. Take a break, I said to myself. So yesterday, the, the third message say, be happy, yeah? Demons are gone, yeah? From the Eoski glasses. So I said, yeah. So I said, you. I would really want to see the world to live in peace and love, just like high heaven. 
Not astral heaven, higher, that's why I say. I really want to see it. Not just keep talking, promising. Because the, the energy of the zealous demons and ghosts and evil and all that is still in the world. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Like even if Maya is gone, the energy is still linger. Because they infected the humans and the animals on this planet since long, 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 long ages already. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. so even if they're gone, it takes years for this energy to clean up. That's why I'm frustrated. That's why I said to them, I really want to see the world in peace and, you know, harmony and love. Not talking anymore about that. Because it's too long for me to wait. I'm impatient. I'm waiting too long. For uh, what is this here? Something about computer password. Too much stress because disciples, etc. Workers. I don't want to say it, okay? Just trouble. But it will be all good, I said to myself. Yes, Master. I have to always be positive. I just write about, I have received Chief Lane message. And I reply him. First day, June 18. I was tired and, as usual, you know, suffering, seeing beings suffer outside my world, yeah? So I complain, I say, you keep saying, peace will come, don't say any more, I don't want to hear it, okay? And then you keep saying, my love will win. Can the humans even feel it, this love? Even animals feel it? So I ask heaven, so what's the use of talking about my love will win? They don't feel anything. That's why they continue to do what they are doing. If they truly feel my love, they would feel immediate change, you know? They would yes. change. Yes, they would know what it is. They would know really what the energy that I brought, and they would change. So I say, why then? Why they don't feel my love if you keep saying my love will win? So they said to me here, I forgot who told me, but it's in parentheses here. This I quote in quotation marks. Highest pure love is traceless. Ah, oh you goddess. I say I don't even feel my own love because in the human body we're limited. Yes, yes right. Also busy. Sometimes too much outward and less inward, that's why. So they say highest pure love is traceless. I was thinking they would say something else. But because the word traceless, I haven't used for I don't know how many decades. I haven't remembered this word. I was thinking they say something else, but this is what they dictate to me. Traceless. Highest pure love is traceless. Uh, and I was very pleased with that word. <laughs> because they use the, the good word, eh? Yes, Master. Good word is hard to find for a writer or for a journalist to find some good word, you know? Yes. yes. Appropriate word well, is a joy, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. So they found it. Sixteen Tuesday. It's not for you. And then even spider come and tell me another one. This earlier on, not the one yesterday. Another one. Said, Be happy. Peace will come. <laughs> uh... Some uh, how much? How much time? I don't want to tell you. Yes, 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 yes. I say okay. My God, thank you. I'm sick today. Originally, I thought I could not make it. And I was saying something like, please double check this in the computer, yeah? Yes, Master. For you guys, one of you probably had that word from me from one of the show. It's not a very difficult show. It's some good show, but not uh, so risky <laughs> or needing a lot of attention. So I wrote the word, please double check. That was the day, but later I felt better. But I say, I cannot get sick. I say, you get up, go to work. Finito. No more sick. The zealous power is still on earth until 2000, etc., etc. December 17. I don't want to tell you the year. I understand. But December 17, 2000, something, something. That's a lot already. Yes, 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 yes. That's why ants, mosquitoes, zombies are still active. Mm. Okay, like that. One of your sister asked if she can deliver some fruits for me. I say no. No. <laughs> I want peace. I don't want food. And then the, the next one, that's 15 of uh, June, huh? Yes, Master. Next one. I wrote something about the light in the North Pole. Aurora 
Borealis. I just wrote it here, random, you know, because I saw it on TV in some of our show, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Sometimes they introduce the country, yeah? And then they show this light, a northern light, yeah? Yes, 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 yes ma'am. I saw it, so I wrote it here. A green light is a northern light at North Pole is from underground people technique. Oh, wow. Yeah, to confuse the direction of adventurers in case any want to go there, they will be lost and could not find the entrance to their abode. That's why they put the lights there. Because it's not just the light, it has energy, understand? understand. Yes, Confusing your mind. Very few people can find the underground because the entrance, they put something to make you, even if you found the entrance, you could not enter. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. And you could not find the entrance. Your mind become like uh, confused. It's just like some gas to make you sleepy or relax. Yes, master. Some dentist uh, office they have a different kind of gas to put you at ease. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes master. Yes. Yeah, similar. This kind of light is a deterrence to the intruder. I don't blame them. The way we are on the surface of the earth, huh? I wouldn't want anybody visit me either. I understand? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just bring trouble, sickness, sorrow, fighting and war and stuff, yeah? Yes. 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 Everybody afraid of us. I don't blame them. They'd rather live underground. It's not, I don't imagine all that fun living under the ground, though. Huh? No. Master. You think living underground is cool? No. no. Yeah, it could be more dark, but they, they make their own light, their own sun, and they make their own energy. So it's, it's bright enough. It's just to think of living Bari under the earth is kind of uh, scary, huh? Yes, yes, yes. But even more scary to come up here living with us. <laughs> yeah. That's why they, they don't want to come up here to live with us. I don't blame them, okay? Yes, yes. Master.